Louisiana currently has a lack of facilities that serve children in need of therapeutic or psychiatric care. Louisiana does not care well for her children. If you look, for 27 years, we've averaged 49th in the nation. That deficit means dozens of Louisiana's children are being sent out of state each year for treatment. Over the last several years, what this chart explains the reduction in beds available for foster children in group homes contracted by DCFS. And then the green line you can see is the increase in the number of foster children. And so in, on the child welfare side, we're short of services. The Outdoor Wilderness Learning Center is run through the Louisiana Methodist Children's Home, one of the state's handful of residential treatment providers. The center features a high ropes course, outdoor adventure activities, and equine assisted therapy to help children heal. The center also uses team building activities to help troubled youth connect with each other. This is the amazing maze. It's a 10,000 square foot human maze built by volunteers. There's a lot of things you can do with the maze. You can uh, show people that going the same wrong route over and over really doesn't get you anywhere. Sometimes you have to try a new direction in life. A major obstacle to attracting and keeping facilities like OWL in the state is funding. Wheat said that until the state allocates proper funding to therapeutic resources in the state, Louisiana's children will continue to be at risk. Louisiana has children who have needs that, that are just not being met or barely being met. For The Times, I'm Lex Talamo.